Hi everyone, this is Liz from Liz's Party Designs. Today I'm coming to you with a graduation theme party pack. Um, for this customer, all she ordered was the grab fans, but I can also customize for chip bags and other tags to match your event. Um, so for the chip bag, this is the design I came up with. Whoops. Hold on, I'm going to have to redo that. This is actually the design I have, but as you can see, she's uh, her I need to outline her a little bit better because she is supposed to have some sort of a background on her. Um, because she, her hat is black as well, she's, uh, she, you can't tell, you know, she has a hat on, but she does. But I'm going to work with this one. I'm not going to reprint it because I made a mistake on printing it out. So I don't have time to redo it. I'm just going to go with what I have already. Okay. So I'm going to move on over here. So I've been working on this one off and on all day and um, these will be shipped out tomorrow. She needs them by I think next week or so. So these got to go. These have to get out of here. Um, this is the front of the fan. This will be her front and she's so pretty. Uh, let me see how my, I forgot how what she measures. They're nine inch, about eight and a half to nine inches. But with the stick and everything, it's going to be about 16 inches. So yeah, right now she's like eight and she's eight and a half tall and seven and a half wide. So they're really big. They're really big fans. And this is as big as I can get them to fit on an eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper. Um, I can go bigger, but you have to be aware that pieces of the person has to be cut off. So this is not the whole, the whole picture she sent me was longer here at the bottom. So she had more of her showing here. I just cut that off just to kind of focus more on her face and her hat and still include her, her school colors that she's wearing. Uh, hold on just a minute. Let me move this glue gun. All right, it's in my way. So there's the front. Now the back says, uh, so very proud of you. That's what um, her mom wanted her customization to be. She's graduating from Georgia State University, class of 2019. Her name is Autumn. And this is the school uh, logo and colors. So I added that as well. All right. So I'm going to put those one of those together. This here is the napkin holder tags. And I've done napkin holders before. But I'm really trying to push these more because uh, they're very inexpensive. They're inexpensive to have as centerpieces too. So um, this is the tag for the napkin holder. Of course, the tags are front and are going to be for both sides. So the tag says Autumn, class of 2019. So very proud of you, Georgia State University. And I've done the centerpieces with this hat and the diploma. And this ribbon here that's tying the diploma can be changed to any color. And of course, you see the frame here around the blue, uh, the blue frame around this uh, tag is the school color so that could be changed to any color as well and my background is just a bunch of hats thrown in the air and then here's my napkins the napkins go right in there what do you pay like two bucks a napkin for a pack of napkins i believe these were found at oh where did i find these oh no these were found at a local warehouse here in houston at the party warehouse 
and uh, they have tons and tons of stuff, tons of colors, patterns, all that good stuff. So I went ahead and picked up a pack of black because um, I've worked on some other samples before and it has 50 to a pack and I, they fit perfectly in there. And these are the, I think these are the dessert napkins. Yeah, they're smaller. They're smaller than the dinner napkins. These are not dinner napkins. They're different. But you, of course, you could put dinner napkins in here. So, like I said, the tag matches the grad fan wording, colors, her name, and all that other stuff. So, but of course, it can be customized to whatever you want, anything you want. Customized by color and wording and all that. So I'll put one of those together in just a minute. Now for the chip bag, this is that here. That is this one here. Um, I designed this within five minutes. Um, I do tutorials for YouTube. So um, this file is available through my Etsy shop. You can go into your Cricut and uh, design from there or you can design it from silhouette those are the only two softwares that I offer this template in I don't know any other software other than those two at the moment so um, all I did was match this tag to the napkin tag as you can see it matches it so I can incorporate all these uh, designs through for everything that you want of course um, I broke it up with colors so this one's more of a more has more white this has black blue and white and then her fans of course those are gonna be um, at the ceremony or used at the ceremony so but you know family you know family and friends always want to save those all right so I'm gonna start with the chip bag no I'm not gonna start with chip bag let me start with the but I just wanted to show that I can uh, create that whole design or style on everything. So like the napkin tags, of course, match the chip bags. And I broke it up with different colors so it doesn't just look all saturated. So um, I'm going to bring her on over here. Now onto the napkin wrappers. I'm going to use blue dots for that because you can reuse these. You have a graduation this month, next month your baby's birthday or your next child's birthday or a next child's event or a family event, a family gathering, 4th of July is coming up um, and you just like to have cute stuff on your table. These can be removed and replaced for new tags. Just tell me, hey, I bought the napkin holders. I need a new tag. Fine, I could do that. But, you know, of course, the first set you buy, will, you will get the container as well with the tag. And then they could be removed and reused on other ones. Like the last time I made, um, what was it, little girl, the little girl uh, baby shower theme. So now I'm going to do a graduation one. I'm going to have a graduation party. So I want to change it to my graduation tags. So I'm going to do that. And these are just pop dots. Not pop dots. Glue dots. Glue dots here. Um, You probably could get away with hot glue. Because hot glue will pop off of the plastic. The container is plastic. So... Once it's dry and hardened, it'll come off. 
but I'm using glue dots right now. And this is all I wanted to come on and show you guys because uh, I had to do a video tutorial earlier for YouTube and I will have to get that uploaded today. All right, so I'm adding the tag. You can even use these as centerpiece stands, bases. Um, let's see how that would look with the centerpiece base, as a centerpiece base. Mm, trying to think what you could fill the bottom with. I fill it with something in here, like uh, maybe some paper shred, tissue paper, or something. Stick a piece of foam, like a, a two-inch piece of foam. And then stick your pick in there. And there's the front and back of the pick. But these are going to be used for napkins, so that's what I got here. And there that is. I gotta go get pictures and post these up for sale. Because graduation is quickly approaching and I gotta get those posted up in there. I usually start selling graduation items probably by the end of, well, course we're already in April first of May mid-May because by June I mean it's pretty much all over my nephew graduates June 1st but of course all states are different everywhere is different and districts are different as well colleges are different so I'm gonna place the next label and then I can make this pattern, theme, whatever, to banners, favor tags, candy wrappers, Capri Sun labels. I should have done a Capri Sun, but I mean, it's more for a grown uh, person's party. So I'd stick to Capri Suns more for children's parties. But water labels would have been cute for this theme. And people could take those home as a favor as well. And there you go. There's the napkin holder tag. Simple, easy, quick centerpiece. Don't if you don't if you're not looking to spend a lot of money on this big extravagant centerpiece for your graduation. Of course, napkins cost what two, three bucks a pack. You get 50 napkins. Everybody needs napkins at the table. Um, I've had parties to where everybody's behind me for a freaking napkin. I'm like, they're on the table. <laughs> Or they're, they're not at the table they're sitting, but they're on a food table or something. It's good to have them at the table they're sitting at. Such a great idea and so convenient for everybody. Um, so front and back, you'll get the two labels, the stand. The napkins, I can provide, but I would suggest you buy them on your own. Because you can find them probably cheaper or the colors you want and stuff to your liking. At your local party store or craft store, whatever it is that you, wherever it is that you buy your items. Hi everyone, this is Les from Mrs. Party Designs. Today I'm working on a chip bag assembly, and I know I've said before, don't attempt to do it with hot glue. But I found a technique that might work, and it seems to hold the bags mm -hmm. pretty well. So, for this one, um, I have a bag already assembled. This is the bag here. And I'm going to go ahead and show you how I assembled it with uh, hot glue. Absolutely perfect uh, closure and all that. It's a little bit open here, but might have just missed a dab of glue. Go ahead and this is just a sample, anyway, it's not for anybody. Um, this is the design I came up with. 
and it matches the, the her colors her school colors and all of that so and I'm gonna include her some chip bags since she placed an order all right so I'm gonna start by folding where the two patterns meet let me move my hot glue because I'm afraid it to get too close to it yes on camera okay so I'm gonna fold where the two patterns meet and I like this technique I just thought of a way that I can um, assemble it easily without my glue drying too fast but you want to do your pre folds because that's what's gonna help you help guide your hot glue and all that okay these needs to be moved that's for my centipede or my fan grad fan Okay, where the two patterns meet on both sides, just go ahead and get some good folds on it. Now for, for this here, I am going to run a bead of hot glue on this, on half of the page, not the whole page, half of it. And kind of get to that. Okay, put this down and fold it over. Some hot glue spilled out, but that's okay. This is just a tutorial on how to assemble the bags. Oops. So going and finishing up the rest of that glue, I'm just going to bead a very thin piece. I'm going to bead it all along this line, but very close to the edge because the paper reaches. The paper that's flapping over reaches to the very edge. You gotta work quickly because it'll dry. Clean up that. Just gotta be careful not to over pour the glue because it'll stick onto the other side. So this is what you'll have. You'll have both ends open. Now, I'm going to run a bead of glue all on the inside of the top edge. Don't worry about getting it on the white part because we're cutting that off, so we don't need that part. Get it to where you can you see the blue, line, the blue border line. Okay, pop open the bag. I think this is a much neater technique. I was just nervous about working with the glue, I think. I didn't want to burn myself, but to take the time and because I would see that that tape would keep popping up on you and it would get frustrating. So, don't want that to happen anymore. Now I'm going to bead along the other border. Make sure you're getting it on the blue part. Because if you get it on the white part, it's going to, um, and pre-folding this helps a lot with assembly. And there it is. There's the chip bag. Now I am going to get my scissors and cut the edges. Cut the white part off. That's why I say don't put glue on the white part because, and you can see through the paper, it's thick enough, it's thin enough to see through where your borders are and where you want to place the glue because if you get it on the white part you're just going to end up cutting it off and then your bag's going to open so there it is 
There's the front of the bag. Um, you can paper print this if you want or use some fancy scissors and cut out some designs. I'm going to leave it plain like this because they're just samples on assembly. I hope you all have a great day. Thank you.